we'd like to invite you to our town. We have an amazing array of art, artist, and year-round cultural activities. The kickoff to our cultural calendar is the Arts in the Heart of Augusta Festival, a two and a half day celebration of art, music, and international cuisine. This nationally recognized festival is a great weekend to come to Augusta. Not only do the arts give us some amazing experiences here, they add to the economic impact of the community. In fact, the Arts in the Heart Festival can document $3.2 million in direct visitor spending. We have loads of festivals in addition to Arts in the Heart, the Westaboo, a Greek, Hispanic, German, bluegrass, country, jazz, both Sunday night on the river and at Pine Street in downtown Augusta. We have major groups and activities. We have symphony, dance, Storyland Theater, the Imperial Theater, Artist Row with numerous galleries right in the middle of downtown Augusta and four museums, the Morris Museum, Gertrude Herbert Institute of Art, Lucy Craft Laney and Augusta Museum of History. We have a long and outstanding history of arts and culture. Let's take a minute and talk to some locals. I think there's, there's something in the soil, there's something in the soul of this uh, city and this environment that just, just breeds great musicians and great artists. Something in the water. I don't know, what is it, right? Yeah, there's something in that funky water in Augusta. I found in Augusta that uh, individuals that, that are looking to perform parts um, are very enthusiastic. It's a very enthusiastic uh, group and, and crop of people. And it's very important for tourists and our locals to understand and appreciate the wealth of arts and talent that we have here in the Garden City. It was the hit. It was really the, the first thing that drew me was the history. You know, the rich history down here is just, it's just incredible. I don't, I don't know if everyone realizes just just how uh, how how rich this is. And you start looking at some of these pictures of what it looked like here back in the early 1900s, and um, and then we start seeing some of the the, the sculptures, uh, the bronze sculptures and things down the medians. And uh, we went down a couple times, I guess, to the market, the Saturday market down through there. And uh, so we just spent a lot of time walking around and talking and, 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 and looking and uh, a, a, a lot, big mural presence uh, in the city, too. And that's always, a, that's always a real inspirational sign, you know, for any artist coming through. So when I'm asked what makes Arts in Augusta special, I would have to think about uh, the main raw resources, which are the people. Um, I've never been anywhere where the individuals are so enthusiastic about what they're doing. There are so many talented people who got their start here and who continue to invest in Augusta, whether it's by sending resources back home or coming back home, like my brother Wycliffe Gordon, um, and, and uh, like Jesse Norman and uh, you know some of the wonderful things that the James Brown Academy of Music Pupils are doing here. Um, I, I, I see that as an asset. I believe that with that kind of investment and reinvestment, there's nothing that we can do other than to excel. There's no place like home and coming back to Augusta for me is something that I've been threatening to do for the past almost 10, 15 years. And um, with the opportunity to come back as an artist in residence at GRU to teach and to share with the students in this community um, through the university, but it will be a community-wide thing. Something that I do all over the world, it makes me feel great that I can do that in my hometown. So, you know, it's great to do it in Australia, it's great to do it in Russia and to see the, the influence of the music, which particularly for me has been jazz, but how it, ha it has affected and influenced the lives of so many um, people in so many different cultures. But to come back here and do it here, you know, where I grew up, um, it's, uh, it's hard to find words to express uh, what that means to be able to do that. I love putting on live music concerts and, you know, people, it's, it's just when you have a good band and the band sounds good and you have a crowd and the crowd gets into the band, that's what it's all about. You know, there's something special when that happens and, um, and I see it happen. So I know it, it can happen. And my trick is, you know, my thing is to keep it happening as much as possible and to um, give people, you know, a variety of things to see and to bring acts and music to Augusta that maybe you have to go out of town normally to see why not have him play here, you know, so I'm always doing things, even if it's with the Westabu Festival or the Arts Council, you know, I'm trying to help, you know, bring um, all different kinds of music, you know, good music, world-class music to Augusta because 
you know, we deserve it and we have to do it. Bring it to make it happen. So that's my job. In Augusta especially, I, I've witnessed um, people with different talents. Uh, you may have uh, artists, you may have musicians, actors, directors. Um, and when they come together, there's a real collaboration and it really works in the theater community in, in Augusta because everyone wants it to work well. Um, they bring their best gifts, their talents, and everyone just kind of weaves together this, this beautiful tapestry of theater. And um, I, I'm glad to be a part of it. I really became best known for that big project I did out on the uh, Gulf Coast highways after Hurricane Katrina when those giant oak trees died. and, and uh, uh, I spent three years pretty much just giving back and, 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 and doing these monster trees uh, to give those people kind of a, uh, just kind of a token gesture to them about the spirit of rebuild. Uh, my daughter was up here at uh, Fort Gordon going to uh, her military training and my wife came up and visited and uh, like we do in most major cities when we go into we like to go downtown and learn about the cities and I was especially touched by Augusta, you know, it seemed like you had a pretty interesting uh, art scene here. and talked about the, the energy behind a re, re, downtown rejuvenation project and so my wife and I decided that we wanted to be a part of that in a small way and uh, so we make our contribution by coming here and bringing these sculptures and maybe bringing some light down onto the area. The local artists always come together to collaborate on festivals, events, exhibits and so I see more of that collaboration and I see that really driving awareness. There's a lot of soul in this city, there's a lot of great art in this city, but I look forward to taking, um, to being a part of taking it from where it is, to raising the bar to the, net, the level of being a national and international city that's known for the arts that come from here. I've been in other cities, uh, I've been in Los Angeles, Atlanta, um, spent time there, done some theater work there. But what really impresses me about the audiences in Augusta is, is their support and their enthusiasm, first off. And secondly, that they always return. And, and what they do, if they see something that they like, and there's a lot to like about Augusta Theater, um, they'll call their friends and their family, and, and people will come in from, from different areas, from Atlanta, from Charleston, from Columbia, and they come back. Um, that's why I'm really excited about being in Augusta at this time because I feel like it's a place that is, is just on the edge of, of busting out and growing. Um, and I look forward to being a part of that and, and being able to watch that happen. Here in Augusta, we're seeing a true renaissance in our arts and cultural communities. With festivals like the Westaboo Festival, Arts in the Heart of Augusta, bringing millions of dollars to our local economy each and every year, we truly appreciate the arts and what they mean to our community. From an economic development standpoint, a new Starbucks facility is being built here. $172 million investment that was made partially because of the fact that we've got a very strong arts and cultural community. So arts means big business here in Augusta and we truly are becoming a destination for the arts. I believe that the, um, the city is going to explode with arts. Come experience Augusta, our town, big arts. Find out more at AugustaArts.com.